Our project was focused on understanding how people's transportation choices and modes changed as the result of the pandemic. We knew that COVID-19 was a, was a big shift and there was some limited research showing how that affected people. But the effects of something like a pandemic can vary in different geographic areas. And nobody had really looked at the Pacific Northwest um, in that context before. We started with a thorough literature review to see what other research had been done in the past. And that really gave us some context to understand not only how other researchers had approached this problem before, but also what gaps in knowledge there were. We found that there's uh, still some long-lasting effect uh, impact on the whole public transportation as a sector. You, you think about the COVID pandemic has ended, but in fact, when people get on the bus or people are not trying to go back to the bus after the pandemic. For example, we have found that Seattle has been heavily impacted, but Boise or other smaller cities are less affected by the pandemic. It's kind of a, uh, a snapshot of what things were like in that point in time. And it also started some conversations that at least I had never thought of before. So how coming from, not everybody had the opportunity to work from home or to change transportation modes. And so it's important to be aware of how something like the pandemic affects people or how shutting down public transportation could affect people who don't have as many choices. We have been able to provide support for graduate students who get a chance to know more about the transportation and also apply their skill sets in the real world context. So it really uh, it has been a rewarding experience of educating and advising graduate students. This research definitely helped a lot when I was in grad school finishing up my thesis on a separate project. And then it also gave me some specialized skills that were useful in, in work later on. In a follow-up study, we look at road safety and crashes during the pandemic. Typically, people would think during the pandemic, low one drive vehicles, and there should be lower number of crashes uh, during those couple years. But we found that, yes, there are lower number of crashes, but actually, on average, the severity of those crashes has increased dramatically, and speeding-related uh, crashes are also more likely to happen. Public transportation are uh, really the critical means for transportation for a lot of folks in the city of Seattle, in the city of Portland. But during the pandemic, they are not also able to use some of the public transportation services due to the shutdown. This transportation um, system is really fundamental to this uh, particular vulnerable population and communities. Moving forward, you know, maybe we will have another pandemic or some, some events that widely affect our transportation system. So our stakeholders should act proactively to help to reduce the number or the danger of having crashes. Yeah, in terms of solution, I think it means more research and more studies are worth doing to uh, really uh, think about it in greater detail because generally we know what they need, but what they need also should be a part of the whole community. So it's not just a vulnerable population, but vulnerable population and their relationship with the general public. So this is really critical for um, policymakers and transportation planners. Moving forward, we need to make good decisions for balancing the efficiency of our system and the equity of our system.